Hello, everyone. Today we will be reading Rapunzel. There once was a woman named Rapunzel. She was the nicest person in all the land. A wicked witch locked her away in the room at the top of a tall tower. Year after year, Rapunzel grew her blonde hair until it was as long as the tower was high. A brave prince had heard that Rapunzel was trapped in the tower. One day, the prince rode his horse and called up to Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, look down your hair so I may climb your golden stair. Rapunzel threw down her hair. The prince began to climb, but very soon he got tangled in a long pink ribbon. Oh, oh, drat! The prince continued to climb up Rapunzel's long blonde hair, but now the prince was twisted in pink ribbon. Still, the prince had heard that Rapunzel was very nice. He climbed a little higher and found a mother bird had built a nest in Rapunzel's hair. The mother bird was tending three tiny chicks. The prince escaped from the angry mother bird. He continued to climb up Rapunzel's long blonde hair. But now the prince had been pecked by a bird and twisted in pink ribbon. Still, the prince had heard that Rapunzel was very nice and very clever. He continued a little higher and ran into another climber, hanging on to Rapunzel's hair for dear life. Hello there. Who are you? I am a fellow climber. This is a long way to the top, I'm afraid, and I've grown quite weary. I've stopped for a snack. Say, can I offer you a cup of tea? Yes, that would be nice. Jolly good. Here you are then. Oops! It's hard to drink tea and climb on Rapunzel's hair at the same time. Indeed it is, old chap. Indeed it is. Well, best of luck to you. The prince bid farewell to the other climber. He continued to scale Rapunzel's long blonde hair. But now the prince was soaked in tea, pecked by a bird, and twisted in pink ribbon. Still the prince had heard Rapunzel was very nice, and very clever, and very pretty. He climbed a little higher and met an old hound dog. <laughs> the prince got away from the old hound dog. He continued to climb up Rapunzel's long blonde hair, but now the prince was coated in dog slobber, soaked in tea, pecked by a bird, and twisted in pink ribbon. Still, the prince had heard that Rapunzel was very nice, and very clever, and very pretty, and very funny. He climbed a little higher and ran into a bumblebee, attracted by the scent of Rapunzel's luxuriant hair. The prince hurried away from the bumblebee. He continued to climb up Rapunzel's long blonde hair, but now the prince had one eye swollen from a bee sting, was coated in dog slobber, soaked in tea, pecked by a bird, and twisted in pink ribbon. Still the prince had heard that Rapunzel was very nice, very clever, and very pretty, and very funny, and very good at ping pong. At last he got to the top of the tower. Rapunzel, I am a prince and I am here to rescue you and take you away. A prince? You're a mess. You have bird peck marks all over your face. There's dog slipper dripping. You have a spilt tea on your shirt. And you have pink ribbon tangled everywhere. With also bee stings all over your face. Well, nobody's perfect. Look at you, Rapunzel. You need a haircut and a 
shampoo. You have climbers, birds, hound dogs, and bees in your hair. I'm out of hair. I mean, I'm out of here. The prince turned to leave, but suddenly was struck by an idea. Wait, we both may not be perfect, but don't you see? We're perfect for each other. We're both messed up. You make a really good point. Say, Rapunzel, will you marry me and live with me in my castle? I would, my prince, but how could we both get out of this tower? What's this? A key! The key! I've been looking for this for seven years! <laughs> We're free! We're free! The prince and Rapunzel unlock the door and walk down the stairs of the tower. And so our story ends. The ribbon-tied, bird-pecked, tea-soaked, dog-slobbered, bee-stung prince and the very nice, very clever, very funny, and very good at ping-pong Rapunzel was with long blonde hair and full of ribbons and bird nests and climbers and old hound dogs and bumblebees got married and lived happily ever after.